Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Washington Gun Law TV. I am Washington Gun Law President William Kirk. Thanks for joining us. Hey, we're going to circle back now on Liberty Safe. Yeah, you thought the drama was over. Yeah, that drama is actually over. But there's some other information I want to pass along because what we try to do here at Washington Gun Law, as you know, is we try to give you all the stuff to think about. We don't want to tell you how to think. You're all big boys and big girls. You can think for yourself. But we do try to give you objective information that you should at least think about when deciding what you're going to do as it relates to issues related to your Second Amendment rights. Well, we did a little digging around on Liberty Safe, and I think that there's some information that you as consumers, you and the lawful and responsible gun owning community ought to be aware of. Whether it matters to you or not, what weight you attach to it, well, that's going to be up to you. But today, let's have a real candid discussion. Let's talk about the truth about Liberty Safe. Okay, so we're talking about Liberty Safe again, and I want to make this really, really clear. And for all of you at Liberty Safe who might check this video out, this is not meant to be a hit piece on you, okay? But you have to own your actions and you have to own the realities of what I'm going to discuss with my viewers here. I am not, I repeat, I am not asking for a boycott of Liberty Safe, okay? I am candidly do not believe that I have any authority to be telling any of you how to be spending your hard-earned money. What I can do for you, though, is I can give you information that you can mull over and decide whether or not Liberty Safe is a company that you want to do business with. Now, let's just refresh our memory about why we're even talking about Liberty Safe. Back in the early part of September, so right around September 7th, September 8th, a news story broke that FBI agents who were investigating an individual based upon January 6th insurrection activities had an arrest warrant and a search warrant for that individual, and upon executing the search warrant of his home found a Liberty Safe, they wanted to get inside of it. Of course, the subject of that search warrant told the FBI to go pound sand, when they asked them for the combination. So the FBI then contacted Liberty Safe directly, who gave them the access code so they could get into the safe. Now, that sent a lot of people in the 2A community completely into orbit. There was a huge, huge outcry about what Liberty Safe had done, and Liberty Safe began with some damage control, or what we like to call public statements. Now, for those of you who geeked out on these videos right here back in the time, you will recall that Liberty Safe was really wrapping themselves in the flag in the Constitution, telling about how they were on the same side of the fence as you. Is that true? I mean, right after the story broke, Liberty Safe released this press release on multiple social media platforms, which included this statement, Liberty Safe is devoted to protecting the personal property and Second Amendment rights of our customers and has repeatedly denied requests for access codes without a warrant in the past. And then upon changing their policy due to massive public outcry, let us not forget that Liberty Safe in their second press release was quoted as saying, At Liberty Safe, we are dedicated to safeguarding the rights and privacy of all our customers. Our company, one of America's oldest and largest safe manufacturers, was founded on the belief that Americans should have the fundamental right to protect and safeguard their valuables and property. Okay, so does Liberty Safe actually stand up for your Second Amendment rights as they claim? Well, they say that they're one of the oldest American safe manufacturers, but you don't have to look very far to realize that this company was actually started in 1988. Okay, it was started by a gentleman named Jay Crosby in Utah. And I hope that Jay is on a private island in Tahiti right now. I hope that he made out like a bandit on this. But if that's one of the oldest safe companies in the United States, apparently we haven't been making safes for that long here in this country. So. Liberty Safe is making a lot of bold and brash claims about how they are in the fight with you. They are absolutely willing to fight for your Second Amendment rights. Well, is that true? Well, we started doing a little digging around, and you don't have to go digging too far to learn one very important piece of information, which is Liberty Safe is no longer owned by the Crosby family. Liberty Safe is not locally owned by Utah residents. Liberty Safe is now owned by Monomoy 
Capital Partners, okay? And how can you find that information out? Well, it's actually listed right there on Liberty Safe's homepage. And then, of course, Monomoy Capital Partners also very braggadociously talks about how they own Liberty Safe. Now, what's the big deal? There's a lot of companies who get bought out by large conglomerations and things like that. So what is the big deal? Well, the big deal is, is that if you go to opensecrets.org, which is a website which tracks corporations and corporate gifts to politics, okay, not only to individual candidates, but as well to parties in general, you will learn one very dirty secret about the people who actually own Liberty Safe. And that dirty secret is, is they do give a lot of money to political candidates, but they give them all to one side. I mean, right here, it shows that there was $87,663 donated in the last year from Monomoy Capital Partner employees, all of which 100% went to Democrats. Hey, the website even breaks it down by whether or not they donated to House recipients or Senate recipients. And as you can see, every single penny which was donated was donated to Democrats. Here's another stat which shows all of the federal candidates which employees of this company donated to. And as you can see, once again, it is 100% Democrats. And who did the money go to? Well, the biggest recipient was Raphael Warnock. But on this page is also David Cicilline, Stephen Irwin. Hey, look at this. John Fetterman is down here as one of the people receiving money. So is Senator Mark Kelly from Arizona. Kim Schreier from Washington State is on this list as well. So the bottom line is, is that Liberty Safe is not some small, independently owned Utah company anymore. It was at one point, but it isn't anymore. It is owned by a large global financier. It is part of a large global conglomeration with varying financial interests. That large corporation, Monomoy Capital Partners, routinely and consistently donates money politically. Every single penny is going to Democrats, including many who have feverishly fought for civilian disarmament legislation. Now, again, am I saying that all of you need to go out and immediately boycott Liberty Safe? No, I'm not. Okay. It's your money. You get to decide how you're going to spend it. But in a free market society where companies have the right to conduct their business however they wish, we as consumers also have the right to spend our money however we wish. Again, I'm not telling you how to think, but I am giving you all the stuff to think about. Listen, if we find out anything more about Liberty Safe, we will be sure to let you know. In the meantime, if you got any questions about them, or anything else related to what's left of our Second Amendment rights. You guys should know how to get a hold of Washington Gun Law by now. If you don't, that's okay. That information is right down there in the description box. Now, in the meantime, let's remember that part of being a lawful and responsible gun owner, like we talk about all the time here, is to know what the law is in every situation and how it applies to you in any instance that you may find yourself. Until next time, thanks for watching and stay safe.